officials are investigating. Public health emergency. Condiments. Food toppings meant to add extra flavor to a dish. In addition to flavor, most commercial condiments add a bit more than what you might have bargained for. Ketchup, for instance, is laden with various forms of sugar, including high fructose corn syrup, which contributes to diabetes, heart disease, and high blood cholesterol. Natural flavors isn't too confidence-inducing either, and I'd rather not worry about what's in my food. Other condiments like mayonnaise and ranch dressing are chock full of rancid seed oils, artificial flavorings, colors, and preservatives. Sure, you can buy the healthy branded versions for a pretty penny, but why not make them yourself for way cheaper? You'd be surprised by how quickly you can whip these up, and don't worry, these homemade condiments won't kill you. Ketchup, honey mustard, mayo. The most versatile condiment trio. Starting with the king of all condiments, ketchup. Tomato paste. No, not the tube stuff, canned tomato paste, 12 ounces or 340 grams, roughly. Crack that open and spoon into a mixing bowl. I don't worry about getting all of it out, as I use the can to measure out the rest of the ingredients for the stupid, simple, sugar-free ketchup. Applesauce. No sugar at it. Is the key to sweetening this ketchup. The smoother the applesauce, the smoother the ketchup. Mott's does a pretty good job of producing smooth applesauce, but if yours is a bit on the chunky side, blending or pureeing it should fix that. I shoot for one quarter of a can, about 80 grams, add that to the bowl. It wouldn't be ketchup without vinegar, so I'm adding a half a can of apple cider vinegar, about 150 grams, but you could use white distilled if you don't have this stuff. Into the bowl with the other ingredients. And now for the flavor. Salt, one and one quarter teaspoons, roughly eight grams, or to taste. Onion powder, a half a teaspoon or about two grams, and finally allspice. Yes, if you want ketchup that actually tastes like ketchup, all spice is necessary. Three quarters of a teaspoon. And whisk. Thoroughly. This may look a bit chunky and thick now, but that's only due to having whisked a bunch of air bubbles into the mix. Once this stuff has sat for a day in the fridge, it'll have a much smoother texture. A quick note on tomato sauce. You could use it instead of the paste. But for my testing, you'll have to heat it for a while over the stove to thicken it to more of a, well, paste-like consistency. It's a hassle, and I don't recommend it. The paste method is much more straightforward and the result essentially the same. Here's how the ketchup looks in a fancy dish. And if you want to store it like I do, get yourself an empty condiment bottle of your choice, wash it out, rinse it with a bit of vinegar, and proceed to sloppily fill with a homemade ketchup. Eventually. Look, you decide an easier way to do this. I came up with the recipe, all right? Squirt test. Side by side comparison of the conventional ketchup on the left and the non lethal option on the right. Like ketchup, honey mustard is another goaded condiment that is often disgraced by the mass manufacturing process. Most ingredients lists on the bottles I've seen give the impression that you're buying a watered down sugar spices with mustard and, legally, a bit of honey. Not this honey mustard. Keeping it simple, 100 grams of Dijon mustard. Sure, you can use regular, but Dijon is chef's kiss. Beautiful. And, you guessed it, honey. 30 grams of that. I also add a pinch of salt to taste, but that's of course optional. I know, I know, I can't help but salt everything. I read your comments, I get it, I have a problem, but you do you. I'm gonna do me. And whisk that together. Nice and smooth. Again, fancy dish for YouTube aesthetics. This stuff is bomb with chicken fingies and fries. Of course, I employ my sloppy used bottle storage method to keep this stuff on hand at all times. I never know when I'm gonna want some honey mustard marinated chicken thighs. Trust me, it slaps. Mayonnaise. I use non-fat Greek yogurt as a base for mine. Free of oil, high in protein, and just the right consistency for mayo. 100 grams of that. Oh, and didn't I say these condiments were versatile? That's right, a bit of honey mustard goes a long way in transforming yogurt into mayo. If you ever made mayonnaise the traditional way, you know what I mean. 10 grams of that, or about 3 grams of honey and 7 grams of mustard. Now for just a splash of acid. 5 grams of apple cider vinegar, and a teeny weeny pinchy of salty. And whisk. This is the one we actually want air bubbles in. I honestly love this stuff. <laughs> it tastes just as mayo should without the risk of cancer. Cancer-free mayo in a fancy dish. If only I had some sandwich bread to spread this on. Hmm. All three condiments in fancy dishes. And now a bit on how I use them. Breakfast. My 10-year recipe. 
I eat this ketchup with it every day, and I look forward to it on a daily basis. Ooh, check this one out. Fancy dish, bit of ketchup, bit of honey mustard, bit of mayo, mix, and you've got a non-lethal killer burger sauce. I've got one more for you. Fancy dish, big bit of mayo, onion powder, garlic powder, dry dill, and salt. A simple ranch tip. Sure, you can make a better ranch than this with some extra ranch spices, but if you're in a pinch, this will do fine. If nothing else, these condiments and their fancy dish babies should serve as inspiration for your own condiment creations. Either way, when it's this easy to make your own tasty condiments, why bother buying the junk from the store? Never again. If you like this content and want to see more, drop a sub and a like. Dislike if you hate salt. Recipes and macros in the description. Links to my products there too. Don't die. Peace.